of you have heard a stand up comedy on UPSC. You might remember the camels can fly. Well, I do not know about that. But yes, I certainly know that deers can dance. There are lizards who love rocks, they are ground dwelling, and definitely spiders who can jump. Hello and welcome everyone to the Environment Primer series of Drishti IAS. My name is Pragya, and today we are going to discuss the newly discovered species in 2023. In this discussion, we will firstly study about the background of our today's topic. Then we are also going to see the discovery of some new species in 2023 and then we are going to discuss a practice question for a prelims examination. So if I talk about the background of our today's topic, uh, recently a diving duck has been found in the Loktak Lake in the Manipur region after a gap of 90 years. So this discovery is very significant in nature because we are talking about the extinction of our natural flora and fauna, especially those species who are endemic in nature. Most of them are included in the IUCN's red list. And we are going to discuss about this list in a separate video. But just know that the more we study about them, the more we figure out how to preserve them. So this is very important in conservating our natural biodiversity. So the first species which we are going to talk about today is the white tufted royal butterfly. Imagine a butterfly. Okay, imagine it in your head and then you will see, you will always imagine a colorful butterfly. But this is a rare butterfly that has been found in Kerala and it is completely white in nature. It was earlier spotted in Agastya Kudam in 2017 and Shandani Wildlife Sanctuary in 2018. So yes, this is very rare species of a white butterfly and definitely we need to preserve these rare species. And for your information, this butterfly is already included and protected under Schedule 2 of the Wildlife Protection Act. Okay, And if you talk about the butterflies as insects, they belong to the Lepidoptera of Phelium Anthropoda order, which also includes moths. So, butterflies per plus butterflies plus moths plus skippers. form this family of Lepidoptera. Okay, so this is a very rare white colored butterfly and definitely we need to preserve this rare species. Let me show, a picto show you a pictorial representation of this butterfly. As you can see, this is completely white in color. It is not colorful as a normal butterfly. Okay, the second species which I am going to discuss today is the species which I have already mentioned in the uh, background that yes, a diving duck species have been discovered in the Loktak Lake of the Manipur after a gap of almost 90 years. The Loktak Lake of Manipur is also famous for the Sangai or the dancing deer. Okay, so now you know, I don't know about camels can fly as I have mentioned before, but certainly I know that deers can dance and these deers are found in the Loktak Lake in the Manipur region. Okay, and this diving duck species is known as the greater scop. It is a migratory species. It is not known to the Indian subcontinent and is very rare in the Indian subcontinent. So, it is locally known as the Sadangman. And it is a medium sized diving duck species that belongs to the family of Anathidae. If you talk about the existence of this diving duck species, they are mostly found in the Arctic and sub-Arctic regions. The greatest scop species is distributed in Asia, Europe and the United States and Canada. It is a very rare uh, visitor to the Indian subcontinent, but this time after a gap of 90 years, we have finally spotted it in the Loktak Lake in the Manipur region. If I show you a pictorial representation of this diving duck, this is the diving duck known as the greater scop. Another species which we are going today to study about today is a completely voiceless frog. Can you imagine a frog that cannot speak or cannot croak or cannot sing? Well, yes, it is true. And this frog has been found in the Ukaguru mountains in Tanzania. Okay, it does not croak or sing like other frogs and it has one speciality is that it has spines on its throat. Spines on its throat. And that is why it is 
named as piney throated reed frog and it has been discovered from the ukaguru mountains in tanzania there is a very interesting story uh, uh, behind this discovery the scientists in these regions were looking for some other frog some other amphibian and that is how they accidentally discovered this new species of frog moving forward it is facing Im imminent uh, danger of de extinction okay and we need to preserve it since 2019 researchers have been studying amphibians in the ukagaru mountains for a considerable amount of time and this is the background story which right now i mentioned that yes they were searching for some other amphibian or some other frog but they found this uh, species accidentally the ukaguru spiny throat reed frog was distinct in its body dimension and has smaller eyes okay and uh, definitely we need to preserve these kind of species we need to give voice to these voiceless creatures in and it is very helpful in conserving our original biodiversity of a region okay and this frog is also endemic in nature and as i have mentioned that yes it is also on the verge of extinction okay this is a pictorial representation of this frog that has been found and it is known as the spiny throated reed frog and it cannot sing it cannot have uh, croaking sounds and it cannot speak at all it is a voice legs frog another species which we are going to discuss today is new species of giant sea scorpion and interestingly they are all already extinct okay and these have been found from unearthed fossils okay so a new species of aquatic anthropod was this found in New Mexico in unearthed fossils. Okay, the new species lives in an estuary and it lived 300 million ago. So they have found it from a discovered it from the unearthed fossils and definitely it has already become extinct in the Kasi Movo era. Kasi Movo era. Okay. So this is a giant sea scorpion and most of these sea scorpions used to exist in the Kasimovo era but now they are all extinct and this is a discovery that has been recently made that yes these are the fossils of this giant sea scorpions that have been found in the New Mexico uh, state of United States of America. The species found is a sea scorpion as I have mentioned. Let me show you a pictorial representation of this sea scorpion. So this is the sea scorpion that has been recently found and this also helps us in studying those biodiversity because we are already curious about the existence of dino source on earth okay now we are trying to finding find out apart from dinosaurs which of the earlier species that used to exist on the earth which are have now become extinct moving forward to our another species namely the jumping spiders now you can know that spiders can jump we are already very scared of spiders and we have already seen spider-man how he bit the spider-man and he became the spider-man so yes spiders can now jump imagine so this is very interesting discovery and the researcher of the zoological survey of india have discovered two new species of jumping spiders from southern india so southern india the western ghats is definitely very rich in the flora and fauna and aspects of biodiversity but sadly it is already very threatened and most of its species are mentioned on the iocn's red list and that is why these discoveries become even more important to analyze that yes the current need to protect and conserve our original biodiversity so the two discoveries include fintella dhritiye from mokombika wildlife sanctuary in karnataka and fintella platniki from salem district of tamil nadu Okay, so belong, they belong to the genus known as the Fintella. Okay, and before this discovery, we have 12 known varieties of this genus in India. Moving forward, the newly described species belong to the genus Fintella, as I have mentioned, and are small to medium sized colorful spiders, usually covered with metallic iridescent scales so they have possess a scaly body and if you talk about the habitat they like staying beneath the leaves of the grass and shrubs okay so they they are found be within beneath the leaves of a 
grass and shrubs they like to make their habitat over there and this is a pictorial representation of this jumping spiders now if the examiner asks you in your prelims examination that whether spiders could jump you will say yes they can jump and we have recently discovered them moving forward to our next species that is the new species of cuckoo wasp researchers from the shadpada entomology research lab at the christ college have made an exciting discovery in southern india so we have already discovered jumping uh, spiders from southern india and this discovery is also uh, made from the southern india the species has been uh, named after the greek god of the sea poseidon due to apical abdominal teeth striking resemblance to his trident so cuckoo wasps are also known as javel wasps javel wasp they are found in the western ghat region western ghat region and they have striking metallic colors striking metallic colors okay and an important and interesting feature is that they do not make their own nest they do not prepare their or bring their own food instead they make their nest in some other insects nests for example butterflies etc and the food becomes the predators food for the their offspring so yes they feed on some other food and they may make their nest in some other in, uh, insects nest so this is a very striking feature about the cuckoo wasp now let me show you the pictorial representation of this cuckoo wasps and you can see that they have striking metallic colors in them so these are also very rare and are only confined to the western ghat regions and they have been newly discovered moving forward to our next species that is known as the catopodin bindhya okay a new species of naked toed gecko okay naked toed gecko it is a you can realize that it is a newly discovered species of lizards okay and has been discovered in the dahod and panch mahals district in gujarat okay the first samples of the new species were found from the vindhya hill ranges in the westernmost part of gujarat and hence they are uh, named after the vindhya hill regions moving forward this is the uh, pictorial representation of this newly find gecko or lizard and um, they show some strikingly uh, different features for example they are ground dwelling grind ground dwelling okay they they love they almost love rocks because they make their habitats in rocks and they are distinct from other form of lizards so this is very unique and a rare discovery that has been made from gujarat and this also shows us that yes we should also pay attention to the neglected area for discovery of very rare biodiversity so some areas in india are very neglected in respect of biodiversity and they need conservation efforts as well okay moving forward to our next species that is the coastal kerala gekoela gekoela another species of lizards okay scientists have made a new discovery of a species of lizard as i have mentioned from the coastal uh, forests of uh, northern kerala so there is a similarity between the previous species and this species that both of these species are ground dwelling and both of them love rocks they make their habitats in rocks okay so this is the similarity between the previous species and this species okay you can see the name of the species here and moving forward this is the pictorial representation of this ground dwelling lizard that has recently been discovered moving forward to our next species that is the bush crickets and this is the last species we are which we are going to discuss today we will be discussing some other another interesting species in part 2 of this video
So recently a team of researchers discovered three new species of bush crickets in India. These new species are mem members of the hexacentrus cricket family and they are unique in their ability to produce ultrasonic sounds of 260 gigahertz. So now imagine cricket that is a usual animal living on the grass can produce ultrasonic waves. So this is very important and that is why this is species becomes even more important. If I show you a pictorial representation, so as you can see, this is a cricket, bush cricket. Bush, why? Because it loves the grasses, okay? So as I have said, this was the last species which we are going to discuss today. So we have concluded our species discussion today. You have learnt about jumping spiders, ground loving lizards who absolutely love rocks for their uh, habitats and definitely some other interesting species and you have also learnt that the dancing deers are found in the Loktak region of Manipur. Now let us discuss a practice question for your prelims examination. So the question is, recently for the first time in our country, which of the following states has declared a particular butterfly as a state butterfly? Your options are, option A is Arunachal Pradesh, option B is Himachal Pradesh, option C is Karnataka and option D is Maharashtra. And this is a PYQ that has been asked in the year 2016. So henceforth you will remember that yes, Studying about these species is very relevant for your prelims examination. You will not be shocked if you have previously read them that okay camels can fly. I am using this again and again this reference because of the stand up comedy and you must have seen that uh, stand up comedy. I hope this session was insightful for you. If you have any feedback regarding this session, kindly drop it in the comment box below. If you liked the today's discussion and found it to be helpful, kindly like the video and subscribe to our channel for more such updates. Thank you.